as you may know, your portfolio is your best asset when it comes to getting more website design clients. So in this new series, I review a web designer portfolio with each new episode for your inspiration. Hello, I'm your host, Casino from Casino.com. I'm the Digital Alchemist. And in this new series, with each new episode, I review a web designer portfolio. Now, the way you should approach this series is as follows. So if you were a potential employer or a potential client, what would be your first impression when you see that web designer portfolio and what would be your last impression? And next, as a potential employer or a potential client, would you like to hire or work with that professional? And with each new episode, I hope that it's going to help you nail down what you need to do for your own portfolio. So with that in mind, let's dive in. Okay, today we'll be reviewing the portfolio of Urban Ape. So let's get into it. So this is the homepage and right out of the bat, I just love what I'm seeing. I mean, this screams branding, Urban Ape, minimal. You get that image here with the uh, gorilla arm and then it points to the text that says, I design things. It's really simple, it's clean, but right away you know what's going on. So I kind of dig that. Now on the big screen, maybe the text is a bit small here, but the, um, the finger really helps to draw your eyes to that text here. And I really like the logo. So the question you should ask yourself is, when this is the first impression that a potential uh, employer or client will have when they reach that page, what is your first impression pause the video and let me know in the comments but that was my impression really really good from the get-go now let's take a look and let's see if the rest is as good so i start scrolling and i see red bull so you know that screams credibility um if it's true of course but um i'm, I'm sure it's true but i mean red bull is a big client so I don't know, let's say you're a plumber. I don't know if you saw my video about digi um, the digital alchemist where um, I actually uh, did the redesign of a uh, plumber website. But let's say that you're a plumber, you have a company and you want to hire a web designer or a designer in general. And so you arrive here, you scroll, you see Red Bull. So right away, that's an asset. So I'm saying that because let's say that you managed to create something Maybe not for Red Bull, but for a client that's known locally, you should put that on your website. It should be really easy to find it right away. So yeah, that screams credibility. So let's move on to the rest. Uh, I can see that he's doing, okay, that's what that's concept design. By the way, I'm not sure he really created it for Red Bull or maybe he just wanted to showcase what he can do, but all in all, it kind of works the same in the brain. Now, of course, if he did not create it, he should say it, but you get the idea. Now, uh, we can see that he does 3D vis uh, visualizing, branding, uh, digital, visualizing, animation, illustrations, sketchy, I guess it's sketching. And uh, it goes on to put some some more credibility as seen on TV, Apprentice Final 2016. So I guess it's some credits for stuff that he did. Okay, so the page itself is really minimal, but I guess that's coherent with his branding. So let's take a look at the menu. So if I click on the menu, uh, it opens on the left-hand side. Now in terms of UX, you click on the right-hand side, the menu goes on the left. Well, it depends. Uh, it can make it look original. Um, it depends, but the balance is good. And I mean, it's not a problem for me. It um, I managed to browse through the website flawlessly, so that works really well. Now, these are the services that uh, Urban AB is offering. We'll look a bit more in detail at the digital and the websites, but basically that's what it does. So design, 3D stuff, branding, digital, and so on. But we'll take a look at this quickly. Now, before we move on, let's take a look at who is Urban Ape. So that's a really important page on your website is who are you? Maybe you are one person, maybe you are a team. Clients may want to know um, who you are. So it works well with the branding. So here we see, I guess it's a Mac Pro and uh, we have the Urban Ape 
um, theme. So that's that works well. Still minimal, and I'm s still loving what I see. So who is Urban Ape? So I class myself as a one-man design agency. Great. Uh, he's not trying to hide that he's on, on his own. And actually, that can work for him because sometimes people just want to work with a dedicated freelance. Um, and it's much better to see someone that's actually proud of what they're doing. So I've been in this game a long time now, and I'm trying my best to evolve with it. I started out in life as a graphic and print designer and as the design world has changed to as my skill set. I like to have a grasp on all the aspects of the design process so that I can take on any job with a multidiscipline approach, which I find especially important when working with startup companies as I can help build their vision from the ground up, start to finish on a very personal level. So I'm not going to read all of these. You can go and look yourself. I think it's really interesting. But what I want you to grasp is that it's quite important, important to at least know um, what's your vision about the work. Because clients, they want to choose someone that aligns with their vision. And they want to know more about you because they want to be reassured. They want some credibility. They want to know who they're going to work with. They want to be sure that you are a professional. So I think that page works really, really well in that context. Now, let's take a look at uh, what he does. So if I look at the menu, this would be the design. So we can see here BBC. Now, once again, I'm not sure if every, uh, all this is really in his portfolio or it's just concept, but it looks like it's really his portfolio. So, I mean, BBC, Red Bull, what else do you need if you want to be convinced that this is a uh, professional? Next, we have the 3D stuff. So, once again, some nice concepts. Pot noodle. I mean, you can feel but just by looking at the pages that he, uh, he or she, uh, no, he, because he said he's a one-man agency, uh, he's really got a knife for design. So it's not just web design, as you can tell by now. And that's quite important because uh, I see a lot of people coming into the industry and maybe all they look at is the web. And I love the web. I'm all about websites and web design, but I often find my inspiration outside of web design. And usually when you love design, you can uh, evolve in any discipline of web design. So a lot of stuff here. The page is really long. I really encourage you to go uh, take a look yourself. But I really dig what I see. Okay, so the next is branding. And first of all, we talked about the branding of Urban Ave itself. I think it's really brilliant. Now we got this one here, Halo, Lifesaver. I think it's really nice. Uh, the E kind of looks like the Elementor logo. Well, not really. Uh, many logos have this, but it looks really, really nice. I mean, look at that. This was my brand. I would be really, really proud. Like the color scheme also. So once again, I invite you to go and take a look. Now, this part is called visualizing. So it's kind of a... Um, I can see kind of the same things I saw in uh, the previous branding section. But yeah, these just to get a feel. And most clients, they will go take a look. They won't take a look at everything. And after a few seconds or after a few minutes, they will have a mental idea of whether uh, they think it's a professional or not, or whether or not they want to work with that person. So these are illustrations, which is quite handy when uh, you're going to hire someone I personally, I'm not an illustrator, so this is something I cannot do. I can go to um, uh, things like Envato Elements or I can work with illustrators, but it's not something I do. Now, I can easily use files and edit it in Illustrator, but that's not my core uh, skill. But it's nice when you hire someone and they can do that. So really nice. Okay, so now let's go back to digital, uh, which is what we wanted to have a look at. And the, this page is um, coherent with the rest of the website. Now, the way the websites are presented, they're not presented um, exactly in the same way. And it's kind of refreshing because sometimes you just see, let's say, for example, that image here, and you're going to see 20 
uh, thumbnails like that with the same image. Sometimes it works well, but most of the times it looks kind of boring. So at least um, this is interesting. Now it's also due to the fact that it's not only presenting websites, it's presenting other digital stuff like uh, watch faces. Um, and I think here we have, let me scroll. Yeah, we have some um, prototype kind of chart flows uh, image. So, and here we have a game. So it's not just about websites, but let's open a few websites. I often talk about the fact that when you get started, you just need like three websites in your portfolio. So uh, if you have more, it's, it's better, but you don't need to have like 1000 websites to show. Uh, maybe from three to six would be enough or three to nine maximum would be enough. And from time to time, we change and refresh the list because what usually happens is you release a website and then when the, the clients start editing, sometimes the website doesn't look quite as it used to look. So also by the time you um, watch this video, maybe the websites have changed. So let me show you. So that's the first one called attachment. It's kind of a one page website. Um, I mean, it's clean. It's got some uh, video background, asymmetrical design. So that's clean work. Now you may like or not like it, but let's say you are a potential employer that looks professional. And let's say you are a potential client and let's say you work in the fashion industry, that would work quite well. Next, we have uh, televised virtual reality, uh, another website from the portfolio. We got a background, uh, video background here. We can see Neymar. So if you know anything about football or soccer as it's called in Europe and the rest of the world, well, Neymar is one of the stars of the sport. So here we got basketball, but this is like stock image, I guess. We got some parallax. It's not really smooth, but all in all, the website looks professional. So once again, approach this with the mentality or of if you're an employer or a potential client, does this look professional? And yes, it does. And the navigation here. Next, we got move.ai. So that can make you dizzy quite fast. So let me let me scroll. This is really simple, um, just a simple website. And as you can see here in the bottom right corner, it was made in Webflow. Okay, so nothing fancy here, but once again, looks professional enough. Next, we get VPN, Victoria Park Mortgage and Co. We have a navigation here. Okay, still got a parallax. It looks like it's the same, actually, template from uh, that we saw earlier on, but uh, still looks professional. And I guess it was made with Webflow. Seems like that's a recurring theme here, but that's normal. I often talk about uh, mastering one tool or one tool set, one ecosystem. So. So if it works, there's not really a need to change. But if you're using another system, this is really easy to recreate uh, with tools like uh, Elementor, or DV, Breezy, or any other theme builder. And the last website from the portfolio that we'll check today is Stone Cold Buffalo. I like this one because it's quite uh, original. Uh, this is definitely for artists. As you can see here, we get some soundcloud uh soundcloud embeds youtube embeds looks like it's a band yeah and yeah the um, the color scheme the um, the background is kind of original the illustration here so i guess he did that because we saw that he he's an illustrator but all in all it works nice so that's about it now of course we could spend much more time digging into everything. But once again, the idea with this series is that you behave like a potential employer or a potential client would behave. So you go through the website, you look at a few stuff and you try to imagine, okay, if I was a client with that person, would I, do I like what I see? Do I want to work with them, him, her? Uh, and really that's the idea. So I'm really interested to know what's your opinion about this portfolio. So you can also go and check the website right away and it's urbanape.com. I think it works well, but maybe you have a different opinion. What do you think? What is your first impression? I'd like to know. Now, I hope you got value out of this video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up as it really, really helps growing the channel. 
Now, there will be more videos to come in this series, so if you want to be sure that you're not going to miss the next episode, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Oh, and by the way, if you want a killer brand identity for yourself or for your clients, I created the brand identity guidelines template that you can download on my website for free. Initially, it was created for Affinity Designer, but you can use it with Adobe Illustrator with a workaround. So if you're interested, just go to casino.com forward slash branding. So that's it for this video. Make sure you don't miss the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success. Thank you.